Melissa G. Wilson here, coming to you from NetWorlding and NetWorlding Publishing, books and more that make the world better. Have you asked yourself, why can't I find a good publisher? And then the question, have you considered hybrid publishing? I'm a hybrid publisher, and I'll share a little bit more about what that means, and it might be a good consideration. I happen to be part of a wonderful group called the Authoress Group with many, many women. There are over 300 who are top women in thought leadership who have written wonderful books and they share all their insights. And one of the things they say constantly is they're on the path now more so of hybrid publishing as a choice. So what is hybrid publishing? It is a publisher who charges you for the work that they do, but you're in control. So rather than only getting 15% uh, or less royalties, you make all the royalties. And I like to say on average that equates to about $4 a book. Now, if you're writing nonfiction, it could be more. Your substantial book might be sold for $9.99 on Kindle Direct Publishing, which is owned by Amazon. It's Amazon's book area. And that will give you 70%, which would be $7. When I was traditionally publishing back in the day, I would get about 50 cents to a dollar per book. So getting $4 to $7 is quite significant. But beyond that, there are more things that you will get in hybrid publishing. And they include things like you getting to choose your cover, you getting the time it takes to create a wonderful cover. One person I can point out that I really like is Brian Cohen and the work he's done on covers and all the research that he and his team do. Now there's so much more here that I will continue on hybrid publishing in yet another video. But for the most part, look at hybrid publishers and consider them along with traditional publishers, which could really take you some time to locate. Now, I loved my traditional publishers. I had at least five of them through the years and they were incredible. But with the boom in books now, I find that often you are relegated to the beginner status where you don't receive the royalties that you thought you might get and that you certainly don't have the kind of support and marketing that you need. So there are other options and I'll talk further about them in future videos on hybrid publishing. Thank you. Have a great day and if you haven't, if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe below so you can get more ongoing insights on the world of publishing. Thank you.